All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 11 p.m. on Tuesday, December 15th, 2020, and we are going to review the quakes that have hit during the last uh, 24 hours or so, and then we're going to tell you about the warning for uh, northwest of Los Angeles, and then we're going to do the forecast for around the world. A lot of interesting stuff happening today in the next few days. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start with the uh, quakes that have happened. We got a 3.7 and 3.6 in the southeast suburbs of uh, San Francisco Bay near Morgan Hill. 4.2 in the border between Honduras and Nicaragua. That was originally a 5.6, so I don't know how they uh, tuned that one down to 4.2 but it was originally 5.6. That hit in the 90% risk area that we were talking about between the border of uh, Honduras and Nicaragua in our warning area. And a 3.7 hit in the warning area in Dominican Republic. It was more in the east, but we thought it would be in the southwest, but nonetheless in uh, Dominican Republic. And then a 5.3 earthquake hit in uh, our warning area in southwest of Kodiak, where we said near Sand Point, Alaska. Now let's go over to quakeprediction.com and if you want to click on the uh, Los Angeles link there, I'll show you what, uh, what's what been happening. So back on the 12th and 13th and the 14th, we were talking about a uh, strong earthquake hitting northwest of uh, Los Angeles and uh, then all of a sudden today we got a very very strong signal again for northwest of los angeles so uh, confirming what we were thinking on the 12th and 13th looking for a large earthquake 6.0 to 7.0 northwest of los angeles most likely near fillmore within 75 miles of fillmore simi valley that area uh, we should start getting some quakes around san francisco and then it'll move down toward Parkfield, and then the biggest quake, 6.0 to 7.0. should hit in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning the 16th, Wednesday morning the 16th, northwest of Los Angeles. And then if you look, we have another uh, forecast model that says that we'll be getting some quakes down near the Salton Sea uh, on the 16th as well, late on the 16th probably. So once again, looking for a strong earthquake, 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake during the next 24 to 36 hours, most likely in the morning on Wednesday morning, northwest of Los Angeles, within 75 miles of uh, Fillmore and uh, the uh, Simi Valley area. All right, let's go to our next forecast in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. And we're looking for a strong earthquake, 6.0 earthquake, southwest of Anchorage near Kodiak on the 16th or 17th of December. And remember to look at all the maps over quickprediction.com. You can follow along and you can see visually exactly what I'm saying here. And then in Chile, we have uh, a strong risk is, uh, is coming to, to uh, central Chile. And it's between Antofagasta and Copiapo. Between those two cities, there's a strong risk of a 5.5 earthquake in that area, south of Antofagasta and north of Copiapo in the northeast portion of Chile. A strong earthquake, 5.5 earthquake is likely on, on December 17th or 18th. Over in Italy, down in the far south near Cosenza and Catanzaro, uh, looking for about a 4.5 earthquake down in southern Italy on the 16th through the 18th. And in Japan, our Japan forecast, the 16th, which is uh, right now, I guess it's 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon over there on the 16th in Japan. They're ahead of us. And we should get a um, uh, about 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake in the Shizuoka and Izu area south of Tokyo on the 16th. And then on December 17th, look for about a 5.0 earthquake uh, down near um, 
Kumamoto in Nagasaki in the far south or the southwest portion of Japan. And in the Philippines, on the 16th, which it's 16th right now, we should get a, about a 4.5 northwest of Manila on the 16th, which is right now, today, the 16th. And then a 5.0 to 5.5 off the northeast coast of uh, the Philippines on the 17th or 18th. And over in Greece, we should get a, about a 4.5 in uh, southern Albania and far western Greece on the 17th or 18th of December. And uh, still a risk for a 5.0 earthquake in northern North Macedonia uh, on the 15th into the 16th. And then on the 16th of December, maybe a 4.5 down near uh, east of Crete. And then the more significant earthquake, uh, 4.5, 5.0 in southern Albania on the 17th or 18th of December. In uh, our Central America forecast, looking for about a 5.0 offshore uh, southern Mexico, southern portion of Mexico there, southwest of Guatemala, and south of the border of uh, southern Mexico, about a 5.0 to 5.5 between the 16th of December and the 18th of December offshore there. Still, still a residual amount of risk uh, in uh, western Nicaragua. Still could get something there this evening. Uh, and overnight into the morning of 16th, but then the risk goes to southern Mexico. All right, in our Peruvian and Ecuador forecast, as we mentioned yesterday, uh, we could get a 5.5 possible near Lima on the 16th, 17th, or 18th, most likely on the 17th of December, and it's most likely to occur just southwest of Lima, Peru. Indonesia, uh, still looking for about a 5.5 in uh, Nasu, uh, Nusa Tangara, Nusa Tangara, Tangara, <laughs> that's hard to pronounce. 5.5 in Nusa Tangara uh, during the next uh, 48 hours, and then the risk shifts to uh, northwestern Sumatra, and then northern Sumatra as well, where a 5.0 is possible on the 17th or 18th. Of December. And in Taiwan, risk remains near Okinawa, where a 5.0 is possible southeast of Okinawa during the next 36 hours. Now, here's an interesting forecast here in Central America. Uh, the risk is uh, not Central America, I'm sorry, in the Caribbean forecast, Caribbean link there or Puerto Rico link. The risk has been building uh, in Southwest Dominican Republic and Southern Haiti or Haiti. And on the 16th, it, it increases even more. And then on December 17th and 18th, uh, it looks like maybe a 5.0 is possible, either South of Haiti and Dominican Republic or in Haiti itself. Um, so surprising amount of risk in uh, Haiti and south of Haiti on the December 17th to 18th, where a 5.0 earthquake is possible on December 17th or 18th. And the Washington State forecast at Seattle Link there, uh, still risk of a 4.0 to 4.5 uh, near Seattle. We did get a, a 3.5. 5, I believe, in that uh, 3.2 or 3.5 near Seattle today, I believe. Um, still some risk there uh, going into the uh, into the 15th as well. And then on December 16th or 17th, there's a quite a high risk in central Montana where we get a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake in central Montana on December 16th or 17th. And then the risk on the 17th and 18th goes to uh, south, southern Oregon. 
All right, here's a significant forecast here as well in Turkey. Looking for a 5.0 earthquake or larger on December 17th or 18th in central Turkey near Kasseri, K-A-Y-S-E-R-I, Kasseri, uh, Turkey, which is in central Turkey. That could get a 5.0 or larger on December 17th or 18th. And once more, let's review uh, California. Looking for a strong earthquake in uh, Southern California, uh, northwest of Los Angeles near Fillmore, Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, that northwest uh, suburbs of the LA basin on, uh, on the, uh, during the next 24 to 36 hours. And then uh, the risk will increase down near the Salton Sea in the evening of December 16th, uh, Wednesday tomorrow. Please warn your friends and family about this earthquake in uh, northwest of Los Angeles. It should hit tomorrow morning and be prepared for that strong earthquake. We had another strong signal come in uh, today and you can see the, the two different model forecast models. The one on top is from northwest of LA and then later on in the day we'll get some more action and quakes down near the Salton Sea. Thank you so much for uh, listening and following us here on QuakePrediction.com. Really appreciate it. And uh, please click the uh, subscribe button and notification button. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, please stay safe, everybody. And we will talk to you after the earthquakes. The, uh, the quake tomorrow in uh, northwest of L.A. will be in the news, I'm sure. And stay safe in that area. And uh, God bless you all. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.